what's splashing YouTube welcome back to more Hogwarts legacy let's do it search the estate for clues all right whose home was this a bit abandoned long since I've lived here rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once centuries ago but that's all I ever heard okay what else we got Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Didn't they say they were it might digging be worth for taking a closer look at the house itself? Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well. Oh, the from the pensive. When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. It was in the memory of in the pensive. How do I get in? Could have told me where the door was. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Revenue. Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. I thought those enemies was coming this way. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to Well, my the melanin house. is popping. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for Look at that oil. the keepers. I'm practically melting out here. Look at this. Let me stop. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one Your way mom. to find out. Alright. Um, Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. What the hell did you get in front of me? Tells me they're after something big. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why am I taking damage? The vines cause me damage? Get back. Rebellion. Oh, wrong one. Lumos. Lumos. Yeah. I thought exactly what you were. Devil Snare. Not what I wanted. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The Mongol doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they, that they can for them. The grief is palpable. Palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss 
A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. Journal entry of Isidore's. I should hold on to this. I trouble here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fort fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isidore's troubles. Revelio. Uh, fucking Lumos. devil snare! Back up! You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Get your dumb ass over here. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. Bro, you do the most. I'm Let's just go. To hold my breath. Lumos. Back up. So I'm not trying to deal with Devil's Snare right now. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. triptych here seems as if something's missing a note let's have a look Room diagram anything helpful in the note a rune symbol i've seen similar symbols used by the keepers i've been thinking a keeper lived in that house centuries ago and ranrock and his lot have been searching there you said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did Better I mention not. it? Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. You did not. Sounds worth looking Sounds into. Sounds like he had a lot you of stuff hidden here. In the castle. No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Till then.
could remember the way to the door out of here. What the hell is going on with my scarf? <laughs> it was like my hands were in my pockets, but they weren't. Just do this. What the hell? This, I wish I could turn that touchpad feature off for this game. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. <laughs> Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. See, I'm about to tap into my new Scamander up in here. Hold on, then. Fantastic beast and where the store. Be on the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Dee when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Dee loves an outing. Deke, are you a free elf? Asking for a friend. I got some unused socks. Catch my drift. Blink twice if you need a sock. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay. Hovering over the wrong one. Get in here. You got one. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. You mean kidnap, catch cool. puff skeins, and well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. I, I like fighting. Well, dang. You couldn't, like, you know, hold my hand and take me with you? I gotta... You said I gotta travel? That's cool. Dobby would've took me with him. Just saying. Bro, these damn laughing flowers, bro. Let's go.
Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Hmm. Yeah, so you are. That. That one, Guardian. I need. This one. Yeah, if it's a flyer. Use that one. Rebellion. Oh, no. That was easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Besides that one cut spell I just did on that today, I'm sorry. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Bro, you trying to turn me into a zoologist, bro? Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf. Deke will be waiting for your return. Okay. Let's go ahead and take us a quick little nappy nap. In the Zeke. Thanks for standing guard over me while I napped. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon no, calf wasn't. now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Well, I bet Deke it's because we interrupted. Here. It'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Damn it. <sighs> Can't never just bring me along, huh? I mean, gotta be all self traveling and whatnot. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. Okay. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. There are three of them, all. and it's not, they're not that big. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm? Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Oh dear. I just bought that table. You've done it. Destroyed my furniture? You're right. Sure. 
Only one way to find How the hell are you gonna say I done it and then don't know what the hell it is when I made? Inside, when you're ready. You gonna teleport? Or you gonna walk through the door like a normal person? Damn! The hell with Newt's commander? Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. <laughs> oh. I'm not acting like these are such huge animals. Like, relax. The moon cap is like Deke the biggest the one. Vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed, I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. Now this I know I about. You know when I have some. Cause I already been to the beast shop where you can buy those types of things. And uh what it is is just stuff to help you enhance your armors and your gear. Something I probably won't really do. Felix Felicis. Oh, no. Oh, come on. You really want me to do that right now? Uh, you know what? Can I cheat this one? Because I really don't feel like doing that. Let me see if I can cheat this, because I really don't feel like doing that whole petting and feeding thing. Made. It's tedious for no... Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a door... Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Didn't Made it. me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been oh someone from America, gosh. no Nobody doubt. Nobody asked for this story. Because we don't even have them here. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derrickal feathers? I am here Always for the, the fur. I them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whooper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. 
Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> oh, don't you? Ew! Stop it. Thank you. I will take all the time you need. Thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. Toad warts. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Yes. You yourself welcome. Goodbye. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the Ooh, very thread of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. There we go. Add a tree, okay. Boom, there you go. Upgrade. Upgrade. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. I don't know why they made this a main quest. 
I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Okay. Thank you for your help, Deke. I thought that thing said feces, or just said fences. I got nervous, I'm like, oh, I don't want no part of that. So. Okay. So all of these are side quests. Let me see if another main is gonna activate. Meet there we go. the ruins of Falbottom Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Girl, what you up to? I'm gonna meet you though, cause you my bestie. class You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. You don't stop talking to me about flu powder. Right. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Oh my gosh, not this guy. <laughs> Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. <laughs> Bro, relax. Ooh. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Bro. Mere cold didn't Bro. stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago. Oh, I'm on freezing the very too. Let me stop talking. Stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. 
We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, <coughs> reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Bro, you ain't spoken to me since the beginning of the game. And now all of a sudden you got something to discuss with me. My stargazing as long as I could. Oh, well, good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius? Bring it. I am using all the wrong spells. There we go. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Ah, <sighs> a pristine night for stargazing. Do Ooh, damn papers come from. Professor Shaw. I love stars and all that good stuff. But learning astronomy the just ain't it for me. For I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there Boy, is don't um, ever laugh like that something again. else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? Well, it who just do you so look happens like? I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No Not one from really. the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Wow. Oh, no need to convince to do me. It, Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. I Shall will we? regret it. 100%. 100 thou wow. Okay. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. Damn it. We'll know it when we see it. It is five in the morning. We go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. You scare me, Loki. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore. Hold up, slow your roll. Hold your bushels. Actually, I'm gonna make this one out here. Lumos, happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Uh, what? Why do you want me to lead the way to a place you wanted me to go to? I don't know where we're going. A little food. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? A hundred percent. No, not this close to the school, Emmett. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Lyra. That ain't hidden. I know about Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And, your and if you're following a book, invaluable. that means somebody already Rest found them, dumbass. Credited in my memoirs one day. Shut up. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. Emmett. 
You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. A mitten. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. You are killing and me. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, no. and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm oh, practically uh, fluent uh, in uh, gobbledygook, uh, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and bro, how you pronounce your Stop R's. saying gobbledygook, um, bro. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. You won't see me no time soon. Level 23. Lucky for me. Because I'm going to bed. Alright, don't forget to descend upon that like button like the angels you are, and I'll see you next time. Hush! I'm ruining my outro. Rude ass. Oh, oh, I'm still recording. Oh, goodbye.